So what I've got going today is these lovely mushrooms. And the mushrooms themselves are made of silicone, just the kind that you would use to caulk a bathroom or whatever. And they're colored with some watercolor paints. So I saw that on a video and I just loved it so much I wanted to make my own. I started out trying to do it just like they did in the videos with the LED, having just a single LED in each head. But with these particular LEDs I bought, I found that when I cut them apart, I could no longer get these contact points to make the LED light up, no matter what power source I used. So I thought, well, I'll just use a whole chunk of three. Why not? So they're just twisted up in there, so they're actually even brighter than the ones in the video. And it was a lot easier just to keep them at the 12 volts that they start out as. So I just bought super simple 12 volt wall adapter. Don't have to mess with batteries or anything. And I've got my soldering iron heating up, so it should be good to go as soon as I have these wires all exposed. All right, so I've got all of my positive wires are the red ones. All of my negative are the black ones. Here is my power supply, just, just plugged into the wall. Got it on off switch, which is nice. And then this little adapter here, which the raw wires are in here. And then this is another adapter. But what I'll actually be soldering all of these pieces to is this female adapter here. Oh, and the underside here is just, it's just paper towel, but it helps to diffuse the light. And it also just looks really nice. Super simple. I really like the way the guy in the video that I got this idea from for the mushrooms, I really like the way he says mushrooms. So I just want to always say mushrooms now. All right, I'm just going to go for it now. Put the wire between the solder and the soldering iron. Oh, it's getting a bit hot. Okay, well that doesn't look half bad actually. So, okay, got all my red wires, all my black wires. Now I need to actually attach the power wire to this chunk and then hope that it lights up. Because I've already tested each one individually. Um, I'm not sure what's the best way to do this. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and tin the end of this wire a little bit further down. So I'll get a little bit, a little more. Get a little bit on the end of this. And then, oh, I need to get some of those little clippy things. There's a spare set of hands. I've been doing this all without, and it's a bit hard. Well, I guess now I'll just plug it in. See if it works. Okay. <gasps> Okay, so it's very ugly, but it does work. Heat shrink tube covers, covers a multitude of ugly, ugly joints. <laughs> oh, I need to get ready for work. Okay, um, I think last of all, I'm going to put one more big piece of heat shrink over both of them. I guess I didn't need the little pieces. I didn't know what size I was going to need, so I just grabbed a couple sizes. And let's make sure it still works. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so that's about it now. Um, I've got to go. But I'm very happy with my mushrooms. <laughs> and all that without having to do the bother of figuring out what size resistor or what strength resistor. It was such a pain trying to do the individual lights. And I think that this is a very good amount of light for the big mushrooms that I made. I guess in the video they were doing smaller mushrooms, but I kind of wanted big ones anyway. It's like if I'm gonna go to all the trouble of making a mushroom, go big or go home. And you get different amounts of uh, light coming through, which makes them look nice and different, just depending on how thick you make the silicone. I think this is probably my first one. I made it really thick on top and then I tested it and the light didn't come through great. So I made the rest of them kind of like a little thinner. So you get uh, more of the lovely red LEDs coming through. 